It's Christina with Kapwing. I've got a tutorial on how to create custom Google Form header images. Google Forms are the things that you create. You can put lots of questions in it and then send it out to folks and their responses get entered into a Google spreadsheet. All the forms have an image on top and you do get a few preset um, options like pictures and things that Google's already chosen for you, but you can create your own custom. So this is a tutorial on how to do that. And luckily, Kapwing has a form template, so it's gonna be perfectly sized for you. The image has to be cropped to about 1600 by 400. Um, Google's gonna make you crop it to that size, but based on the browser size and the device the person's on, it's gonna get uh, adjusted a little bit, so you're gonna wanna add some padding. It's free to use, you just need an account so that you don't get the little watermark um, the Kapwing watermark in the corner. There's a link in the description to the template so you can follow along. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is the template. If you click on the link below, you're gonna get taken here. And then here we have our studio editor. I'm gonna walk you through a few really important things. You'll notice that it is already set to the exact dimensions that we need, which is great. You have a lot of different options for customizing this to make it exactly what you want. You can add a background color. We have a few nice ones here. You can also add your own color, your own custom hex codes. You can upload an image. Maybe you have a photograph that you really want to use. It's looking nice. You also have the option to do a Google image search. So if you wanted to do something specific like Thanksgiving table or soccer match or I don't know, something that was related to what you're doing, you could search for it. Um, we're going to do an example. I'm going to just pretend that I'm uh, helping a friend do a brand survey, starting an organic sunscreen company. So for purposes of this, we'll do, let's see, woman, sun, city. She looks like she could use some sunscreen. Oh, wait, before I go back, I want to just... It's good to remember that because it's a narrow rectangle, images like this aren't going to work very well because you have to stretch them so far, but like that's a much better one. That's good. So we'll just go ahead and take this one. If you hit shift, you can drag the corners and it will keep the proportions all the same. Lovely. And if you're going to add some text, keep in mind that um, you're going to have the title right here of your form. So you don't need it to be, uh, you don't need to repeat the title here. Just say something like, talk to us. And then let's say you had a company logo, you could upload it. Okay, let's pretend that that's their logo. Make it a little bit smaller. Put it up in the corner. Um, oh, it's good to remember that this image might get um, cropped a little bit differently based on what platform and what screen it's on. So if it's on a phone or, you know, it's like a small browser or something. So keeping your text in a little bit is, uh, is a good idea. Okay. Let me think if there's anything else that you need to know. There are shapes if you want to take this in like a totally different direction. Let's say you wanted to make, I'm just going to do this real quick. So you've got like, say you wanted to make it peach and then Just throwing that together. Not really sure that I love it, but you have options. Okay, once we're all done, we're gonna say export image. Download. Now we're in Google, Google Forms. So this is when I mocked up. We wanna customize theme. Ooh, you'll notice that Google will automatically pull colors so you can kind of match the theme, which is really, really nice. I like that. That red. Okay, and it's all done. It looks great. 
Another good thing, it's really good idea to it's a really good idea to preview this in a few different screens. So you can send yourself the link and look at it on your phone. It's a very good idea. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations. It looks great. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer them. I hope this helps. I'm really excited to see what you guys do. Please tag us, um, at mention us. Subscribe for more awesome tutorials and great content. And uh, thanks for watching.